Welcome, everyone. It's the 23rd of August, 2024. This is Documentation Office Hours Asia. Uh, topics on my agenda. Kevin Martins is back. Contributor Spotlight. Release candidate for a new LTS. And Hacktoberfest preparation. Oh, it's that time. It's getting that time. Uh, any other topics you want to put on the list? Nope. Okay, then let's let's look to look to first. We're we're delighted that oh oh I take it back. There is one other DevOps world. Mm. Whoops. Mm. Virtual. Okay, September 17, 2024. All right. So first topic, Kevin Martins is back. Delighted that. Kevin is back. He's now reviewing pull requests. He's prepared the change log for the upcoming LTS and he's reviewing pull requests. So Chris, I'm hoping he and I talked about doc, your docs.jenkins.io uh, pull requests. Reviews are upcoming for docs.jenkins.io. So that's not I, he had to get some other stuff done first, but I'm hoping that that'll happen sometime next week. Okay. Is there anything out? I kept glancing and didn't see. Is there anything out there that I could review to help at all? Everything I was looking at was like, was requiring, I'm losing a lot of my Jenkins knowledge. And Yeah, in this case, I think the, the biggest things were reviewing the site for functionality gaps. Yeah. And, and there it means comparing the current site and the new site to see, hey, how does the navigation work? How does, are the, are the, are the pages keeping track of each other correctly, et cetera? Oh, that's, yeah, not my strong suit. Right. So, so in terms of content, Chris has been willing to do the content updates to, to synchronize, but he's been blocked waiting for Kevin to get some reviews done. Okay. Okay, then anything else on Kevin returning? He'll be presenting. He'll be one of the presenters at DevOps World as well. So contributor spotlight, Alyssa Tong is visible now on the spotlight. And we have two or three more that are in the queue ready to go uh, for the next four to six weeks. Fabulous. Yeah, that's great. And... Thanks very much to those who've responded to the surveys. On the Jenkins LTS candidate, Alex Brandis is the uh, release lead. And this one is the last LTS version that will support Java 11. Oh, okay. Now we, we have to show the graph that says that's a good thing and how we're progressing. So here's the graph, by the way, Chris, thanks again for this graph. Welcome. All right. Graph, so here we graphed. A graph, right. There's yeah. there's enough graft in the world without doing yes. yes. Notice this, and we're still a month out of date because we've got a data collection issue. But we're seeing a nice progress. If you look here, you'll see Java 17 has 95,000 installs, and Java 11 is back at 106,000 and nice drop on Java 11. Let's see, Java 11 is the red line dropping. This one's the blue line going up. And notice this, Java 8 continues to fade. So we're seeing the right direction happening. We hope more people will pick up Java 21, but it's we're going to support both 17 and 21 for a while now. Okay. And let's see, oh, testing is encouraged. I guess there's one more topic here to put in the spring security six upgrade six six x update. So this one is um, there are four phases, and the four phases of the project include fi a patch, a file upload two dot o two dot x that was included in Jenkins two dot four fifty nine. I think it was required Java 17. 
included in Jenkins 2.463. And then Jetty 12, EE8 in Jenkins, included in Jenkins uh, 2.462. And right now we've got a goal, uh, 3 September 2024, include Jetty 12, EE9. And there's a compatibility layer that allows existing plugins to run and behave well and ex as expected. Uh, Mark's been testing, uh, been using test code, using in his test environment for months. And as we find new issue, we they get fixed. Special thanks to Basel Crow, Adrien Le Charpentier, and a number of others. And testing is welcome. There is a uh, there is a container image available that's automatically maintained uh, thanks to Bruno Verachten. Any questions on Spring Security Six? No, but um, I'm wondering should we talk a bit about JSOG later? Yes, yes, we should. Actually, I think we could take it now. Google Summer of Code. Let's do it. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, Chris. Um, because I, I think it's like all um we have five projects this year, and four of the five are completing as of we're speaking this week. So um the contributors we need to submit the code product on uh or on or by twenty sixth of August. Good. Okay. Yeah, Monday, right? I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. And also like um the last project uh we have extended until I think um September 30th. Yep. And I believe there's also a uh a final presentations for the four final presentations are next Thursday, right? All five of them. Yeah. Oh, all five of them. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Very good. All right. So let's. Thank you, Chris, for being the lead mentor on that and for guiding the, the thing to effective conclusion. Actually, I've got an open question for you, Chris. Uh, <laughs> are there are any of the GSOC, GSOC contributors uh, interested in um, JavaScript and Jenkins and Java and mm. content security policy. I could ask. Could you? I would appreciate it very much because I might have I might have something interesting. One of the things we're considering is we're considering a major push. Okay. For CSP implementation in Jenkins, mm -hmm. and in in that case, I might be able to. I might actually be able to get some funding to to help fund someone to help with that implementation. Okay. Okay. I'll ask. If no one is that is that like if no one is interested, I may be able to do it. Oh, so well, and. But, um let's let's have a conversation about it separately absolutely yeah. because the 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 idea is quite interesting and if you're interested let me know that's that's great okay. let's let's have a conversation yeah okay great anything else you want to share on google summer of code nope it's wrapping up fine it's like, i think um i think we're progressing well this year and um it's looking good so far great thank you all right last topic that i had oh last topic that i had is hacktoberfest 
Oh, no, two more topics. So let's take Hacktoberfest first. Hacktoberfest runs 1 October to 31 October, sponsored by DigitalOcean. We're hoping that they'll go ahead this year. Um, we've got a, a challenge, though, in that sometimes in the past, we struggled to get the right issues in front of these potential contributors, and they end up spending effort on things that ultimately don't help the project or don't help them learn what they wanted to learn. So first task was identify good issues in Jenkins documentation, and currently there are none listed. So we have quantity zero that are labeled. And so this is a, a, a need to triage, need to review the issues, and assign good first issue label if they are in fact a good first issue. Now, we want them to be well suited to a new contributor. I'm thinking most documentation things probably actually aren't because it's lots of creating accurate content. And in order to create accurate content, you need to know something about Jenkins. So this one may end up not having any good first issues, but the next one, Jenkins Jira, already has 108. And I've been through them, been through about 70% of them and filtered out a number of them. This one has a, a different set of criteria. I think we need useful to Jenkins for sure, well suited to a new contributor, but also part of an actively maintained component. If a new contributor sub submits to a, uh, to a, a, an inactive component, to an unmaintained plugin, um, their pull request is ignored. And that doesn't help them and it doesn't help the Jenkins project. So I've been dropping from the list any plugins that I thought were unmaintained or not where the maintainer was not active enough to actually review a pull request. Now I've got some samples here, these three I promise you, I will review them if someone submits a pull request and they are, each of them have plenty of work for multiple people to work on them. The, uh, the example here is if we look at the, if we look at the test coverage report for some of these, I have to flinch a little, wow, that's, that's sad. So let's look at, let's look at priority sorter, it's test coverage. So the coverage report shows us, notice all the bright red. Mm. Notice the orange that is not a lot better than bright red. So there's a lot to be covered in this, in this plugin. And each of these classes could have a separate independent contributor working on that class. So priority sorter is a good one. Uh, this next one has a few more, uh, a little bit better coverage, node label parameter, and I'm not sure it's got, oh, and there's one more version column. Hang on. So I'll put that in the list too. If we look at node label and its coverage, by the way, thanks to Uli Hoffner for the coverage reporting UI. Notice again, there's red, there's lots of orange. So the hints are, again, there's plenty to do here. And then there's one more, which is version column. And it's this one. And it's smaller. There's only one really, uh, one object that's really far down on coverage and another larger object that needs, needs more coverage still. So, those three, those three, those four are good fit. Comments from others. Chris, are there any other top, any other things you'd like to suggest based on your experience that we should include in Hacktoberfest? Mm. Mm. How about the ones from, uh, for, for Jack and Sorry? Yeah, so, well, we can look at those. Right now, there are none tagged. And so if we, there's, this is the query. We had 107 that have been closed. 
then if I look at, at the, the ones that I see on the top of the list, I didn't see, so for instance, update the squid reverse proxy documentation to describe Unix domain sockets. That one really needs somebody who's expert in squid and understands Jenkins well enough to test it. Likewise, Apache. Others. Yeah, so there's an interesting pipeline examples are outdated. Oh, oh, okay. This is, this is, okay. This is Alex saying, Hey, there's a site, this site. Interesting. Okay. I would, this is one that could use some help. That's good. So this one might be feasible for someone who's brand new, but what they'd have to do is test it to be sure. Okay. Let's look at the example. Does it work? And if it doesn't work, then see why it doesn't work. No, I think about a new new contributor. They'll see it doesn't work, and then they'll immediately ask, "What does it take to fix it?" And what does that mean? We do all the all the heavy lifting to tell them how to fix it. Okay. So this is not a good one for a first time contributor. Yeah. Yeah, others. Um, I'm thinking like maybe we could use some help for the dogs dot uh, Jenkins IO site too, because okay. there are a lot, a lot to be done. But I've, I mean, like for, for adding dog mode, maybe um, I'm not sure if um, if I do have the time for it, but we could like make some tickets. For new contributors working on those. Okay, well, and and that's a let's see, and I'm help help me out here with the the site. What's the URL for the site or for the repository? I uh, is it in Jenkins Infra? It's in Jenkins Infra, yeah. Okay, here we go. So let's, and this has, this has, does have a few issues. Yeah. Good. Okay. So we can put that as a possible candidate. That's a good one. So. Oh, and more tickets later, maybe. Over right. This week. Exactly. New documentation site. Docs.jenkins.io. And it's issue list. Good. All right. Let's see. And where did I go? There it was. So oh, there are some there are some uh, dependency updates queued. Well, I'll take a look at this later. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's that, that's yeah. not that's not something a new contributor would handle. That needs a maintainer, right? So that those. yeah. Good. Now, okay, as another question, no, I guess not. I was thinking of the we've got a task on my list and Kevin Kevin Martin's list to retire the Chinese Jenkins site, but really, that's really really not well suited to a new contributor because it needs full setup of the site to then prove that we can make changes that will reliably switch from showing Chinese pages to redirecting to English language pages. Yep. Okay, good. Good suggestion. Anything else, Chris? Nope. All right, last topic for me then. Oh, Mark and Darren are considering another video series. Yay. So this one would be, so we have improve a plugin. The idea is maintain a plugin. 
with um, patterns to simplify plugin maintenance. And last week we did a, I did a session with, I forget who it was last week, actually, the Murali was attending with us and we did a whole series of steps on things that you can do to simplify plugin maintenance. And, and Darren and I may do that as a, a video series just to talk so that plugin maintainers can see, Hey, there are ways to make your life easier. Cool. Yeah, that's it. Then the last one is DevOps World Virtual, September 17th. So the Jenkins board and Jenkins officers are speaking at the conference. Uh, join us for a status report and question and answer. Any other topics we need to cover today? Nothing here. All right. Yeah.